Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Monday, May 6, 2024. I pray that God will be with you today and may he show you favor and may he bless your life. Our reading today comes to us from Psalms chapter 94, reading from verse 1 to 11. And it says, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, shew thyself. Lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall they utter and speak hard things? And all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. They break in pieces thy people. O Lord, and afflict thine heritage. They slayed the widow and the stranger and murdered the fatherless. Yet, they say, the Lord shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Understand, he brutish among the people, and he fools, when will he be wise? He that planted the ear shall not hear. He that formed the eye shall not see. He that chastiseth the heathen shall not he correct. He that teacheth man knowledge shall not he know. The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man that they are vanity. Amen. What a word this morning. And I know that a lot of us can identify with the psalmist as he express his concern and how it seems like the wicked and those who are not on the side of God seems to be getting away with every single thing. And on top of it, they seem to be so arrogant and so proud of their so-called accomplishments and feel like they are accounted and accountable to no one at all and so the psalmist expresses concern and he asks the question he says oh lord vengeance belong to you you can fix this thing you need to show up please show up you need to come and judge this earth and you need to give to these people their due reward. So he's asking God to act. And here is some of the reason why he's so emotional about this. He said that look at what they are doing and look at what they are saying. They speak all manner of things. Anything that comes to their mouth they say. All kind of blasphemy. Their works of iniquity. They boast about so when they do evil, they feel so good. They feel proud like they have made some great accomplishment, like they have done something great. And they pat themselves on the shoulder and puff their chest to the sky. So they boast. And do we see that in the world today? The wrongs of the world, they are seen as something great. And the moment you decide to stand for something that is just and right, you are scorned and looked upon like you are the worst thing that ever happened. Don't we see that every day? Yes, we do. And if you don't, well, I do. It go, he goes on to say that they break in pieces, thy people. Don't they do that? They persecute the people of God. They do everything within their power. To offend the people of God and to make their lives difficult. Because the truth is, once you are walking with God and once you stand up for righteousness, you will come across these kind of opposition. And so he is saying that, no oh man, we are tired. This is too much. It's too much to bear. Come deliver us now. So he's like he's lamenting about the situation. And he goes on to say that, Look, Lord, 
Look how they afflict thine heritage. Who is the heritage? The children. The children are the heritage of the Lord. Children are very special in the sight of God. And in extension, us. So we are all his heritage. But here we are experiencing this kind of turmoil. And he's praying and asking God for deliverance. He says that they slay the widow and the strangers. And they murder the fatherless. Look at what is happening around the world. Look what just happened in Haiti. Look what is happening in Russia. Look what is happening in Israel. And for what? There are no sensible reason for this kind of killing to be happening. So human life has become like nothing. We are so cold and so heartless. And we do what we do and we don't care whose life we disrupt and who is affected by our bad behavior and our bad attitude. And so I can understand why David feels this way. I can understand why he feels this way. It is difficult to watch this, difficult to experience this. Hmm? And on top of it, here is what <laughs> here is the icing on the cake. They are going to say that look here, God don't see what we're doing. He won't he, 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 he don't care. In fact, he doesn't business with us because what we are the boss he won't dip his hand into this so they feel that because they can hide behind the different mask and the different shadows and do all these evil and a lot of people might, might not see what they are doing they feel that they will get away with it or they have gotten away with it and don't we do that sometimes when we are behind closed doors when no one is seeing what we are doing, sometimes we do some things that are uncomprehendable. And it, it amazes me sometimes how we think that because no one is seeing us, God is not seeing us. I don't know how we come to that conclusion. But this is what we do. This is what we do. So now he phrased back the question because he said that, you must be crazy to be thinking that you're going to get away with it. So he started to prophesy now. And he says that, look here, you are telling me that the God who made the ear, who gave you the eye, who formed the eye, who, who reproved the heathen, right? And all of these things, you are telling me that he will not intervene? You are telling me he doesn't hear the words you say? He doesn't see the things that you do and he's not aware of nothing that you're doing that is wrong come on now your ignorance is at a great eye and it shall contribute to your downfall and your destruction because the bible says that everything that we do it will come back to haunt us in the judgment in fact it has begun for a lot of us because according to scripture, we are being investigated for those very thing right now. And so we are just piling up the case file against ourselves because nothing that we do is unbeknown to God, nor will it go unnoticed or unpunished. It may seem like it not getting anywhere now, but it will you know and there's a song that we oftentimes sing you know and the words are true further along we'll understand it because the truth is that when we look at oh the wicked seems to be prospering and seem to be flourishing in their evil you wonder is god really there but I want to remind somebody this morning that God's eyes are on you. The song says that his eye is on the sparrow and I know he watches me. So God is there and he has not forsaken his children. And in time, he will do what he must do. So it won't be forever. All that these 
people and these men seem to accomplish now. They are vanity and they will not last forever. But what you and I are building and working towards, it will last forever. And what is that? Salvation, eternal life, glory. These things are eternal. So they are not vanity. They are not temporal. They are all for eternity. And so don't look at what seems to be prosperity among the heathen or among the world, the population of the world, because it is just a distraction to make you believe that this is what you need. This is what you need to go after. This is a lifestyle that you need to follow. This is just how you need to live your life. And then you give up the kingdom of heaven, give up eternal life to be just like everybody else who seems to be walking after their own path and the saints say that broad is the way that leads to destruction, but narrow is the path that leads to eternal life. So don't worry. God will prosper you as he see fit and bless you accordingly. And so he will act and he will avenge you. He will avenge his people. He will avenge the widows. He will avenge the fatherless. He will avenge the children but not when you say so because his purpose is far greater than what you and I can see and so it's just for us to continue to trust him and continue to depend on him because the songwriter say what a friend we have in Jesus all our sins and grief to bear and what a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer may God continue to bless you and I and keep us faithful until his soon return. Amen.